Hello and welcome to Introduction to Visual Computing at SFU. In this course, we will cover the fundamental concepts of computer vision and computer graphics. Hi everyone, my name is Manolis Sava and I'll be teaching the computer graphics part of this course. I do research in 3D computer graphics, modeling of 3D scenes, understanding how people interact with 3D scenes, and creating 3D simulations from those 3D scenes to train artificial intelligence and robotics algorithms. And I am Yaz Aksoy. I will be covering the computer vision half of the course. And I work on computational photography, trying to understand the world from a single photograph and trying to change it to create a new photograph. You can always check out our websites to see uh, our ongoing research topics. In the computer vision part, we will first start learning about images and start thinking about images as a set of pixels. Then we will cover some basic image processing concepts such as edge detection and image filtering before moving on to more higher level concepts in computer vision such as panorama generation, optical flow and segmentation. And before we transition into the computer graphics part, we will start looking at some geometry and connect the 3D world geometry around us with the 2D camera and photograph geometry. In graphics, we will talk about the opposite direction, producing 2D images from computational representations of 3D objects and 3D scenes. We will talk about the two main fa families of algorithms for rendering images, rasterization and ray tracing. We will also talk about how to model the surface properties of 3D objects so that we can render how they look under different lighting conditions. Then we will talk about modern graphics hardware, GPUs, and how video games can create realistic visuals at real time using texture mapping, reflection, and shadow mapping. Finally, we will talk about the main principles behind computer animation, how we generate cool visual effects in movies, video games, and more. As you see, we cover a wide range of topics. Although these are introductory materials, many of the concepts will be new to you. And so it will take some time to see how everything fits together coherently. This is why you should approach this course carefully and consistently. Instead of studying just with the focus of passing the course, you should see this as an opportunity to get into the field of visual computing. The internet is full of exciting learning materials uh, that go beyond the topics that we cover in our lectures. And we will refer to many of these external learning resources at the end of our lectures. You should try to be active learners and refer to those external learning resources in order to go a little bit beyond the topics covered in the lecture. This will help you to get a much richer and wider understanding of visual computing as a very uh, active area of research and a fundamental area in computing science. To increase the interaction time that we have with you in this online setting, we will adopt what's usually called a flipped classroom setup. In this setup, the lectures are pre-recorded videos that you can refer to in your own time, and then we'll have live Q&A sessions during regularly scheduled uh, class times at which we can uh, help you with any questions that you might have. We encourage you to attend these Q&A sessions and uh, you know come and discuss with us any questions that you have but also come even if you don't have questions and benefit from the discussion that uh, will happen when other fellow classmates will bring up their own questions. These live lectures are a crucial part uh, of the learning experience, so we, we really highly encourage you to attend them. We will have two such uh, online sessions on Zoom every week at the regular class times. These uh, sessions will not be recorded. In these sessions, we'll answer any of your questions uh, on lecture topics and beyond lecture topics, not necessarily just what we covered in lecture, but anything that you would like to ask about, including anything about uh, any of the external resources, learning materials that we uh, refer to from the, end, uh, from the end of the lectures. We can also cover any lecture uh, materials uh, from scratch if requested. The lectures are or will be available for you in a pre-recorded video format. These videos uh, are a little bit shorter, edited, and will be available on YouTube. 
and there are multiple ways you can fit these videos into your studying regime. You should watch the videos at least once before you come to the online uh, sessions. As you watch these videos for the first time, one good practice is to take notes as you do in a regular lecture and you can also put some timestamps to go back to the specific topic when you need to, when you are studying for the exam later for example. You can also revisit the videos as you are preparing for the exam and watch it in one and a half speed for instance. These videos will also remain available after you uh, have graduated from this course. So you can always come back and revisit some of the topics if you need it in follow-up courses on in your professional life. Some of the pre-recorded lectures contain some coding part. Especially in the first half of the computer vision part, we cover most of the lecture content in MATLAB. This also gives you an opportunity to get into MATLAB and start learning image processing in MATLAB's language. You can just take a photo of yourself and follow along the lectures in MATLAB, repeating whatever I am doing in the lecture. This will really help you understand the lecture content if you are doing it as you are watching the lectures. And if you indeed follow the lectures in MATLAB, the homework assignments will be no problem for you. There will be four homework assignments, two of them for computer vision and two of them for computer graphics. Each of these assignments are directly linked to a subset of the lectures and these associations are available in the course website. As soon as you are done covering the content for an assignment, you should directly start doing it. We will start some deadlines uh, during the semester but we will still accept late submissions until two days before the exam times without any penalty. This is to give you some flexibility during the semester, but this also puts a responsibility on you to complete the assignments in a timely manner. We will have one midterm exam and one final exam. The midterm exam will cover the entire computer vision topics and it will happen as soon as we are done with the computer vision half of the semester. Final exam will consist of mostly computer graphics part, but one third of the exam will also consist of computer vision questions. We will give the details on the exam procedures and we will talk about how to prepare for the exam in uh, our online sessions. So we hope this gives you a nice introduction to the course and more information will always be available on the course website. If you have any questions, please do reach out to us on the Courses Discussion Forum, which will be the main communication mechanism for this class. Uh, we hope you enjoy the class and we look forward to seeing you all online. See ya. Bye.